in the building with me right now, I have the artist, writer, and director, Rap Man. Yo, big and up. one of the latest new artists, on, new actors on the scene coming to shut down, take over the world, Stephen Odubola. What's going on, guys? Yo, 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 good, man. Big up, big up, big up, man. How are you guys doing, first and foremost, man? Well, we're doing good, man. You know, movies out. Everyone loves it. And um, it's just good to see our hard work being appreciated, man. Yeah, man. I feel Blue Story, everyone's been waiting for it. If you've been <laughs> in London over the past two weeks, you've seen it on a bus, you've seen it at a train station, heard about this film on the radio. What's it been like for you guys being so involved and now the world finally has it? It's just crazy, man. I was nervous in the upcoming weeks just to see how it's going to be received. But now seeing that it's got, a sick, got such a sick response, I'm just happy, man. Just happy. Yeah, see, I'm, I always knew it would get received well because the film's levels in it. It's levels. <laughs> the film is it's a tough storyline and it's, um, it was done well. I just didn't know if people would go out and buy a ticket to it because we're such in the, ah, I'll just watch it on Netflix. Yeah. Like, I remember when the trailer first came out. Is it going to be on Netflix? It blatantly says only in the cinema. <laughs> and you're asking me, is it going to be on Netflix? Netflix? <laughs> like, because people are not used to what? Go cinema? I turn on and watch my Netflix on my phone, on my iPad, or on my TV when I can be bothered. I'm not paying for nothing that. Mm -hmm. Netflix like free to them now because they only pay it once a month. They probably don't even know they're it's coming out. Come out of your account, yeah. So it's just like, mm. so I was nervous about that, but I was never nervous of it a good film. Because um, my not a rat story, you get me? Yeah, you've proven yourself a couple <laughs> times now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I wanted to talk about you guys before we dive into the film, right? And I saw a tweet recently, maybe on my way coming in. Someone tweeted about how their boiler has been broken. So they've had to fill the kettle and fill the bucket. And oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. And I see figures. Rap Man quote tweet is like, Welcome to my childhood. Normal yeah. life. With a bucket no. bathroom. Yeah, normal yeah, life. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Relate still. <laughs> Trust me, we, I can relate life. as well, man. Yeah. But I wanted to know, what was life like growing up? Because obviously you're telling your story through Blue Story. What? How would you sum up your growing up? Poverty. Really poverty, man. Like, cockroaches. Um, literally wake up, pour a cereal bowl, cockroaches run out the cereal bowl, just got to dust it off, clean off the top ones and carry on eating or stuff. You know, we was on the tip of, you know, let's go next door, ask the neighbours to, if we can buy some milk, or some sugar, if we can buy bread. We were through all of that. We was all living in a hostel at one point. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally whole family in a hostel. So poverty was big on my childhood. Like, my mum grew up poor. And um, I didn't really fit nothing of it. I just figured some people are poor, some people will have money. You know? But I never knew pe rich people them we just need poverty. So then obviously getting older, um, things got a bit better, you know, when both parents started working. And, but still never the luxury, but enough to get by, so we was fed. But, you know, and I always just decided that I didn't want to live that way, you know. I didn't want my kids to have to dust off a little cockroaches. I didn't want my kids to have sugar toast and heat up the house with the oven and kettle for flipping bowl baths. Nah, man. I just, I just didn't want that for my kids. I didn't want that for my future. So, um, one thing my dad always told me was to work hard. So, literally, man, just put in the work. Whatever it was, whatever I was doing, if I had a mad part-time job, I'm doing every hour they would give me. You know? Like, if I'm starting to write, do a video, I'm trying to make that the best video. That like, was always for me to try and make it the best I could to get out of the position I was. And that just stayed with me, man. So, going forward, man, I'm happy that I got it. You get me? 100% facts. And you, Stephen, as well. Obviously, you're new to a lot of audiences. Mm -hmm. Tell us about you, man. How old are you? Where are you from? Um, I'm 23 years of age. I'm from Kennington, South London. And yeah, man, I've been acting for a minute. I um, started acting. I started taking acting seriously when I was like 15, 16, because we had like an assembly in school about career paths. And I just found myself remembering, oh, if I was to ever get into a career, what would it be? And... Drama stood out to me because I liked it so much. And that was a time in my life where I, had, I just wanted to start making serious decisions. So, yeah, man. Um, I went to drama school for like a year, but I left because my family couldn't afford it. Um, yeah, and then I just started auditioning to different things, getting my show together. I started sending out to agents. And then, yeah, Ratman obviously came along with his film. He was doing big with Cheryl's story. And then, obviously, everyone heard that he was doing a feature length film. And I, told, I, just, I just remember telling my agent to get onto it, get onto it, get onto it. I want to get involved, I want to get involved. And yeah, long story short, I'm here, man. This here. is where we are today. Yes. That wasn't that easy, though. Like, yeah, his agent came through mm. 
But before that agent came through with Stevie, we saw hundreds of people for Twitter. For real? There. It was the lead role in the film. Mm, it's a big, So if big your lead role. role is not convincing, just throw your film in the bin now. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's just over. Like, it's, it's the most important decision you can make when casting the movie is your leads have to be... I'm putting so big and white man, you beat up a lot of you beat out a lot of people. Bro. I sent this guy an email as well last last. I didn't year, even know. Man. Then I went into real, my when I realized like, when you become part of the family now, I got into my inbox and I see some video from I see some video from him, and then apparently he showed me an email. He sent me an email. So he sent an email sent about what? Email years ago. Last year, bro. Yeah. Last year, yeah. Yeah. before Blue Story even happened, he won on this, he won a video of a year award the Shadow Story. Is that the rated? Yeah, the rated ones. Yeah, yeah. And I just said, I'm like, oh, congrats, bro. Listen, if you've got any music videos like Cheryl's story, it'll be a pleasure <laughs> to work with you, man. You think I've got a reply from this guy? <laughs> Mitch, I'm not complaining, didn't, I didn't bro. Even see it. That's yeah. a myth, like, yeah, yeah, man. No reply from me. I have to, if I have to see it, innit? Yeah, I didn't yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but look at that. Look how good works. He's here now, yeah. As I say, right in history, like, we ain't seen it like this before, which is why I find it so inspiring to just even chat to you guys, man. Mm. And before we even talk about the film, we talk about long story short rap man you've gone from what you described as your growing up in your childhood to i think you either tweeted it or put it on instagram to sitting in jay-z's house mm. like when i saw that i was thinking that's too much of a simple i sentence. think i retweeted it yeah i, I didn't write it someone, oh, you didn't, someone, someone wrote, wrote it and i just retweeted it okay and i was thinking yeah it's true but that's too simplified how what is like some of the key bits that have been along to that journey good bits yeah or like how what was the developing of you? How did you make your way to there? Um, as far as it started, in 2013 when I put out Blue Story on YouTube, the YouTube version. And uh, up to that point, that was the first year I came out rapping on YouTube. And um, I brought out four videos that year, maybe more. And when you... No, they didn't really get much of a response outside people from my area who knew who I was. But when I brought out Blue Story... I started getting tweets from rappers who were already known, like Joe Black and rappers who were known in the industry those times, like the like peers, I was hoping to be my peers, mm -hmm. just saying, this is crazy, this is crazy, this is powerful. I said, oh, okay, so they like this story here, you know. So man done one, man done two, you know, and three. It wasn't like shy or story love, but it was mad love at the time. From yeah. where I was, it was the most retweets I ever got, the most interaction I ever got, and it done well. So then I realised, kind of started realising my lane. You know what I'm saying? So then, going ahead, I remember getting a message from Jamar Edwards, oh, do you want to do a story for um, Anthony Nolan? They want a story about blood donors. Them sort of, like, apparently, you know, a lot of black people don't donate <coughs> blood, you know, so we're lacking. So I've done something for that. That was the first time someone came to hire me for something, so I've done that. Then started doing a, done another one with Comic Relief, like, on um, domestic abuse. So I've done a domestic abuse, done stem cell donors, touching all the subjects. Then I've done one for suicide, um, mental health. Done all of these subjects and they're all getting well done, well done, man. Move on to the next now. Mm. Like none of them changed my whole life. Which I, every, every time I figured this is gonna be the one to change my life. Okay, no, not this one. Okay, well, this is gonna be the one. And it so forth and so forth until it came to the point of I don't think my life's gonna change. You know? <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna happen for me. No, because I've tried everything. Now. I've tried the this type of story, that type of story, this type of story, and I think they're all great. And then uh, it came around to Cheryl's story. Five years now, like you're, I'm five years in the game, releasing like ten videos a year. Friends are not friends are still wish you the best, but they're not turning up to videos no more, mm. man, because they've been coming for a few years and it hasn't got them anywhere. They're trying to tell me indirectly, bro, maybe a different career path is that something you need to look at. So you're in it by yourself at this point. What you're just holding on to share, just you're just motivating yourself. Yeah. Like, don't worry about it, then they don't know what they're talking about. Just do this because you're, and it came to the point. I said, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna go to that next stage in life in my career, but I'm just going to do it out of love now. Sick. The minute I decided I'm just going to do it out of love, I just, start, I just released Shower Story. Even doing a video for Shower Story was something because I had to pay a lot of money for part one that I knew I wasn't going to receive back. Well, I didn't think I'd receive back. And then um, it just blew up. Mm. Number one blew up. Two blew up bigger than number one. Three bigger, blew up bigger than number two. And then literally after the trilogy of Shower Story was that... <sighs> It was That's non-stop. Everything, just everything came. All three buses came at once. Steven, I've seen you out there as well, flexing red carpets and uh, that. I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> what's, the, what's the experience been like for you, you know, with all of this attention? It's crazy because before, it just didn't feel real. But as soon as I stepped foot, like, took my first step onto that carpet, yeah, like, it just hit me. Like, the lights, all the people shouting my name, oh, the lights. Blue Story, like, it was crazy, <laughs> like, 
I nearly froze, bro. It was one of the presenters that had to bring me back to life. Like, oh, Stephen, how you feeling? I was just like, whoa. Like, it was a different feeling, man. Because you, when you've been working for something for so long and hard, like, it's just a crazy feeling to, to, to experience that. So, yeah, man. For real. Before we talk about the film, I just wanted to touch on, have you ever doubted yourselves? As you said, you got to the point where it's just doing it for the love and with these sorts of industries and what you're trying to push, because it's never been done before. There's no blueprint. There's no manual. There's no school yeah. to go for it sort of thing. How do you come over self-doubt if you've ever doubted yourself? One thing I've learned is, like, you just got to keep pushing because with me, I think if I never got blue this year, there's a lot of the times in the past where I'll go to auditions and I'll hear, ah, oh, this person's taller than you, this person's shorter than you, um, he fits the role, but he's got more experience. And I'll just be thinking, am I a dead actor, bruv? <laughs> <laughs> am I dead, fam? Like, but then I just, I just kept pushing because I literally couldn't see myself doing anything else. And obviously, Blue came. And I was just thinking, so it can just really happen at any time. Like, you just got to keep pushing and don't let anyone say no to you. It was a bit harder for me because... Stevie's only young, man. Like, he's a little baby, man. Ah, and he's, he's talking, big man, like, you know? He's pushing. I'm in my 30s, bro. So it was harder. Like, at that, and I've got kids. You know what I'm saying? I've got responsibilities, mm. fam. Like, so not knocking Stevie's hustle, but if he decides he doesn't want to go forward, it's his own decision. It doesn't affect no one else. Whereas if I decide I don't want to go forward, what I do next affects my kids. You know what I'm saying? So it was hard. It was just hard, man. It was hard, especially when people are telling you to pack it in. Um, I remember the beginning of 2018, and I'm just like, I started recording different type of songs. I recorded like a typical YouTube song, mm -hmm. like you know, like the, I don't want to say I don't want to put anyone's song in that box and just take mm -hmm. the make out of it. Popular but, sound. Yeah. yeah. And I played it. My engineers, like, I, I was like, "What do you think of it?" He just said, "Yeah, it's all right." <sighs> I said, it's not me, bro, is it? Because this ain't you, bro. So <laughs> someone never heard a lot of day. So it doesn't matter anyway. But you know, when I wouldn't even release it because I wouldn't feel like I'm cheating myself. Mm. I said, forget this, man. I ain't conforming, man. Like, if I don't make I don't make it. Forget making it. Let me just do the type of music I'm going to. I just do. The type of thing I do, I keep it real. I talk about my journey. I talk about my life. I talk. I tell stories. And I just decided in my head, it's just not going to happen. But I'm still going to do what I do. And, um... I just didn't think it was going to happen, bro. So literally, I remember putting that shower story. Oh, yeah, hey, guys, here's my new video to my 17,000 followers, which is a lot. I'm not knocking it. But it was like, here's my 17,000, here's my new video. If it gets two million, million views, I'll do a part two. These times, I've never had a million views. For so real? it wasn't even something I considered. It was just like, okay, I'm never going to have to do a part two, really. So let's just say this to make them gas it up. And then four days, it's a million views. And All then right, then. <laughs> it was like, oh, wow. And everything changed from there. And I remember telling my brethren, if number two and three bang off the way number one does, I think my whole life's going to change. And literally, bro, it just came. It took five years. I think the biggest thing was not quitting. Mm. Like, if I didn't, if I would have quit, I wouldn't be here. But you see that meme where that you see the digger and there's mm. diamonds behind yeah, the wall mm. Mm. and there's a yeah. one little line <laughs> left. I feel like literally that was my life. Yeah, literally. That was my life. Like, it was that... I nearly just turned around with that pixel act and said, you know what, I've tried... Lord, you know I've tried. Mm -hmm. I can't hit it. It's all no more. But then someone told me, just hit it again. Go and hit it again. Pay that stupid money for Sharon's story video. Pull it out there, even if only a few thousand people will see it. Go on, just do it. And it was the best decision I made because that then led me on to my movie, which I wrote before Sharon's story. Wow. Which so I, Blues was wrote before I wrote, Blues, I wrote my movie way before Sharon. My plan was always, if I ever make any money from this music scene, I'm going to make use the money to make Blue Story. For real. That was always my plan. If I make any money from it, my little money I was getting from streams every month, anything I was doing outside of the music, every penny you were saving up for to make Blue Story myself independently. And then luckily, I was like, success really is preparation meeting opportunity. Because when Shower Story hit the, the, the fame it did, Someone came up to me and said, Shower Story is amazing. Have you got anything else? And me, like a chef, I hear something I've cooked made earlier. You know, and I brought out my script. Like, this is my script. So it was ready. That's why I literally, Shower Story 3 came out just a year ago. And a year later, I'm here talking about a feature film yeah. movie mm. because I was prepared for the opportunity that was coming. And I feel like you have to keep working. So even if you don't believe in, if you don't know if it's going to happen, if it's your passion, you've got to keep working. No money for what you're writing is great or whatever you're doing, still keep on doing it. 100%. And we're here where we are today. Blue Story's out now. 
I'm on. That is just a crazy thing in itself, in all that you've been saying. How is it like when you got the okay? What was it like, okay, it's signed, this is happening? So I remember just telling everyone, agent, producer, rare, 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 yay, hey, I'm doing my movie, guys. So whatever it is, it's got to work around this schedule, but I am going to do my movie. Mm -hmm. And I was in New York and I came back to London, just fully blue to a moat. Straight into pre-production, straight into casting, red, 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 that, and it was just a decision I made. Like, if I would have made a different decision, well, it would probably been good. Probably still would have been good because I'd put my all into it. But this is was the right route. Mm. Like the step up from the small screen straight to the silver screen. Mm -hmm. Like normally people go from can you go if you go from YouTube, you get a little TV spot somewhere or late in the middle of the night. Midnight somewhere where everyone's sleeping on channel something something without putting a channel down, and then you maybe if you can get I done that jump there, and I feel blessed for that and I'm, and I made something special, and it's given opportunities to people like Stevie next to me who were, you know, was being slept on. No one did want to hire him, and so many other cast members who didn't get a role in a film yeah. because they haven't got a trillion followers or haven't got any big credits. Something to be very proud of. Mm. What was it like being on set? How many of you actors was this like your first feature? Do you know what it is? A lot of us are, just, are in the same boat, you know? Mm. Obviously, Ratman, like what Ratman just said, he just said he, um, he likes to get fresh, fresh faces. So with the main cast anyway, there was just a lot of fresh faces. Everyone was young, everyone's from London, so you can kind of relate to one, one, one another. Everyone's energy was just sick. So everyone just bounced off each other. And yeah, man, I'm not going to lie, I was a rookie. I was yeah. a rookie on set, bruv. <laughs> People were saying, oh, wait in the green room. I was like, oh, what? Raps has got a green screen. What's the film? Bruv, not knowing it's, it's the term for waiting yeah. room. <laughs> and then they'll be talking about, oh, I'm about to use 100 mil lens. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, what? It's a close-up, yeah? Mm -hmm. I don't even know these yeah. terms, but I'm just trying to move accordingly. But yeah, man, it was just dope, man. It was dope. But everyone was cool. Everyone was professional. Everyone was just trying to help me in the same, in the same way. So yeah, man, it was dope. Wicked. Four people that are maybe walking into the cinema today, they got no plans. They're like, I'm just going to go watch a film. When they go and see Blue Story, what are they getting out of that? We always say we want like two types of people to see this film. Really. We want people that are like, you know, about that life and involved in that gang life to leave rethinking, their, rethinking where they are in life and, you know, hopefully refocusing their energy into different things. And obviously other people who are not necessarily from that gang background, we want them to like look at this type of film and be educated in a sense where anyone can end up in that life. And yeah, because we saw Timmy, who's a loving young boy, hardworking boy, get caught up in that life because of a certain circumstance. And, you know, a lot of the times we see these young boys get labelled as thugs, gang members, and you just demonise them without actually knowing their backstory and how they got there. We look at films like Joker, we see, you know, a normal guy, end up as a psychopath, but he was getting bullied. Mm. So you understand how we got there. So why is it different when we see a young boy end up as a gang member? And that's the message you're trying to push out there, man. And what emotions would you say tied in with the film? When you just think about the film, you think about the process, everything. You think about your background and all of that. When you take a step back, what emotions do you have connected to this? <laughs> it's, it's too early for me to step back. I haven't <laughs> stepped back yet. I haven't, like... Remember, you, remember someone like me, I've gone from um, pre-production to shooting it to post. Um, and from post, I'm still making decisions on things. I'm st like, I'm really working with Paramount. Like, we're talking about, like, pushing on socials and stuff. So I speak to the head of Paramount every day, like, about... So I haven't. I've played I've played a position in, in every team of this film. So I haven't stepped back yet. But, um... I will always remember it because it was my first feature experience, you know. It was the first time I ever done something for this amount of time. Like, I spent a year on this film, bro. Mm. Like, which is probably not big, a long time in film world, to be honest. <laughs> but I was probably there's filmmakers somewhere cussing me, like, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, bro, I spent a whole year doing this, and that was a lot of work to me. And um, the emotion is, I just remember the cold nights on set. Yeah, I remember bro. not getting what I wanted out of a scene because we ran out of daylight. I remember being upset with my producer. I remember being upset with my DOP. I remember being upset with my AD. And they probably all was upset with me at one point as well because it's an emotional journey. Probably maybe certain times the actor wasn't doing what I wanted. Maybe certain times the actor wasn't feeling like I was giving them enough of what to do. So um, it was a lot, man. I learned loads, man. It was like an intense masterclass. But now I can jump on any set 
and I'm ready to go. Like, mm. send me to Wakanda, man. I can go. <laughs> like, no matter now, I'm, I'm ready to go. I can do any set now. Like, there's no, nothing can overwhelm me in film anymore. Just before you guys go, yeah, one thing that I saw that was really nice to see was the premiere and how everyone came out for you. I remember when you came here last year, it was like you was in the stage where, okay, people are supporting now when it's been a bit long mm. from when you first started. Mm. But everyone came out. Have you felt like the love, the support, what's that been like from the fans to everyone that's pushing? I have to big up the fans, like the supporters, the support. Like, I'm seeing people tweeting, we need to back this film the way we back Black Panther. Yeah? Ah, uh, if you don't support rap, man, you're a waste, man. <laughs> oh, you know, like... I get me, I'm going five times and I don't even care if it's good or not. <laughs> like, the energy, there's some people who's really seen my journey and they could care good or bad for the film and the film's great, by the way. But they're just saying, look, the fact that we've seen you go from there all the way up to there, we have got you. We are coming out and we are coming out in drones. Like, and I love that. Like, people that don't know you, they've never met you, they've just been following me on my socials, you know? I get messages, I remember when you had 5,000 followers. And you know, and you're still replying to me, nah, you're just this. But I love them people because they've put me in this position. So more important than anything, like the premier was dope, glitz and glam, but it's just so important that not the people that have supported me all these years don't feel like, oh, he's lost it, man. This ain't mm -hmm. the same edge, man. Mm -hmm. They come out and they say, oh, sorry. Oh man, you never disappoint me. I love it, man. Like, that's all you like every star that's a superstar or whatever thing, where would they be if there wasn't for supporters? You know, they're the most important. The scene. You know, the scene's still supporting, but you know, you just it's hard to tell if it's genuine with the scene because the scene goes towards what's hot at the mm -hmm. moment. You know, and Blue Story's hot at the moment. So, you know, what, why wouldn't you get behind it? So I don't know. You know, industry is hard to tell. But with genuine people, that's what I'm happy with. Man. Okay. The film is out now. Go and watch it. Stephen, what are you saying? Are you ready to take over the world? Said I'm ready, man. The world ain't ready for me. <laughs> What's next? Come on. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm enjoying the journey, man. Yeah. I'm just seeing where life's going to take me, man. Yeah, man. He's going to be a star, man. Amen. Trust me. If you go watch Blue Story, you'll understand that this is the next one through. Thank you, okay. bro. And Raps, you, what are you saying? What's the plans for the future? I'm going to be in um, the States for a while, trying to establish some roots down there, doing a, doing a little TV show over there. And then when I come back, I'm going to hit the UK with something classic again. You get me? Like, I'll never forget where I come from. So, you know, I'll be back and forth, something big over here, something big over there, something big over here, something big over there. And um, I'm trying to become the greatest, man, at what I do. I want a rap man film to be like a Tarantino film, like a Scorsese film, you know? Like that name, where when you hear that you got a film out, you don't even know what the film's for. But you go... Hey, what, there's a new Tarantino <laughs> film in the cinema, you know? Hey, what, Scorsese's got a new film. That's what I want it to be. Like, mm. you don't even know what it's called. What's it called? I can't remember, but it's Tarantino, isn't it? Yeah. Like, and that's where man's trying to get to, so... And I don't expect it to happen overnight. My career has just begun now. This is my first of my career, because all them other steps was steps to get to where I am. Now I'm in the door in the filmmaking world, so I expect to raise the bar every time, man. <laughs> no, we're definitely behind you. Thank you guys so much yeah, big up for having, my man. contributions to the culture. Hard work and all of that. Mad love, man. Thank Go watch bro. this film. Let's go. Yeah. Ooh.